Welcome to Silver Solutions Radio, an enlightening and engaging program discussing various topics preparing you and your family for the golden years. Questions, answers, and solutions about taking care of loved ones and helping them to remain independent and enjoy an active and fulfilling life. And now, right at home, in-home care and assistance and WRMN AM 1410 present Silver Solutions Radio. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Silver Solutions Radio here on WRMN, your show for living long and aging strong. As always, we bring this show to you because we're passionate about helping seniors and the disabled communities. Good morning. I'm Jeanette Palmer, and I'm joined by my co-host, Jim Wojciechowski, and we're missing Kathy Wetters today. But we're going to encourage you to call in with any questions or comments anytime during the show. The call-in number is 847-931-1410. Don't forget to, you can view the show on WRMN Facebook or listen to the show again on the WRMN podcast. And guess what? Mark is going to jump in here with the new FM station. 96.7 FM on the uh, dial. About the last couple of weeks, we've been on the FM side too. So if you're in the Elgin area, it's... Uh, of course, always available on the AM at uh, 1410 AM, but also now at 96.7 FM as well. So more people are now listening to us. We hope so. All right. Okay. Our show is brought to you by Right at Home, the four pillars of right care from Right at Home. Mean your loved one is being cared for by the right people doing the right thing, the right way, and for the right reasons. So make the right choice today. Call right at home at 877-ELDER-99. That's 877-343-3799. And so the simple act of eating is something that we all take for granted. But more than 60 million people live with a medical condition or are in a life stage that impacts their ability to eat or enjoy food. Fortunately, I'm not in that stage. But now there's an innovative snack. It's called the Eat Bar. And it's to help those individuals. And so to tell us more about this, we've invited Tia Bagan, who is a founder, who is the founder, and she is a speech language pathologist who was inspired to provide her patients and others with an easy calorie portable snack that tastes great, melts quickly, and satisfies the pleasure of eating. So welcome, Tia. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. You know, anytime I get a chance to talk about our mission, it's a wonderful one. So thank you. And so if you can tell our listeners a little bit more about you and what, why you created the Eat Bar. Sure. So I knew even in high school I was going to be a speech pathologist. I was visiting a family friend who was a therapist, and one of her patients came back to her, and she had had a stroke and she couldn't eat six months prior and could eat now. Mm. And in that moment, I kind of saw the power of food, and I realized that I wanted to help people with one of the greatest joys in life, which is eating. So fast forward a few years, um, I went to college, graduate school, and then I started working, and I mostly saw adult patients, um, but I saw them in a variety of different settings. And over those settings, I just kept seeing kind of the same scenario or pattern happening, where my patients would need something that was solid that had a crunch, but it needed to melt quickly and be easy to chew. Mm -hmm. And it also needed to have kind of easy calories. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I started coming up with the idea of a wafer. And I thought, hmm, then maybe there's a better way. And that's really where the Eat Bar came about. Well, and so we're so glad that it did. <laughs> Thank you. So we're talking about the Eat Bar. I'm going to hold it us up for those uh, watching us on Facebook Live. Make it straight up. Oh, <laughs> how, how's that? Okay. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, so. Tia, you're making my mouth water. Okay, <laughs> Be, because, um, uh, well, you know, every time before the show, we have uh, a chance to, to get to know our guest and uh, talk about her story, and it was a wonderful story. And um, the Eat Bar uh, uh, fulfills this need. I think we all see, um, especially in the um, uh, senior and disabled communities. So... As I'm holding this up, tell us more about what the Eat Bar is. I sure will. So the Eat Bar is a meringue that's coated. So most of the calories are actually in the coating. And we use Greek yogurt, and we also use chocolate, and some of the finest chocolate. I wanted to make sure that the product was something that was delicious, something that anyone would want to eat. Um, and so we wanted to make sure to use those kinds of ingredients. It's GMO-free, it's gluten-free, um, and it's also kosher. 
Um, but it's it really is something that we wanted to be solid so you get that crunch. But once it hits your mouth and hits that saliva, it starts to melt into more of what we like a paste um, consistency, but what makes it easy to chew. Um, we have four flavors. We have strawberry. Oh, perfect. Dark chocolate, white chocolate, and lemon. And strawberry is actually our most Mark, popular. We want you to try it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strawberries oh, are most delicious. Oh, thank you. Flavor. You have the lemon? Uh -huh. I do. Is it making your mouth water? <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. This is delicious. Yep. And it has a crunch, and yet it very easily, after the crunch, melts in your mouth. Yeah. How wonderful an idea. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So that was really what we wanted to do was focus on that, kind of giving you that crunch, but also that meltability so it was easy to chew for those people that require things that are easier to swallow. So mm. now my mouth is full. <gasps> mm. And so we want to know, is there a medical, con medical condition um, that – that affects people like for swallowing. Yeah, so the actual term dysphagia means difficulty with swallowing. And there are a lot of reasons that we are uh, kind of concerned or looking at people that may have difficulty swallowing. One, they may be um, not allowed, uh, able to get enough calories in. And so we worry about things like malnutrition. You know, if it's hard to swallow, sometimes it's harder to get the food into mm -hmm. the right place. Um, and so we're always making sure, you know, and wondering if those people are, are getting enough in. And sometimes it can actually become kind of a cycle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're not swallowing as well. Well, then they start not eating as much. Then their swallowing gets worse. Then they're not eating as much. So it kind of can be a pattern and infect each other. Um, and so we worry about that. We also look into something called aspiration pneumonia. So sometimes when people are eating, things will go in the wrong way and go towards their lungs. Mm. And so when someone has dysphagia or difficulty swallowing, we're always trying to do everything we can to avoid that happening. Right. Um, not only is it expensive and, and when people are having to get care for that, but it also can impact the quality of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see that all the time, you know, and, and that happens so frequently with our clients that have pneumonia that go to the hospital and then they end up aspirating, you know, so, so we're, it's something that's really common for us caring for the elderly. Mm -hmm. yes. and, fa and I'm sure families are very concerned about this, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, whether they're being cared for uh, by a service like ours or they're caring for a parent themselves. Exactly. And most people, when they're in the hospital, will see a speech pathologist, and they will assess them either at the bedside or, or using a video <coughs> swallow study or different uh, procedures to see what is the best diet for people. Um, and so that's really when they get to you and they're in the homes. It's a good thing for the caregivers and everybody to know these are the types of foods that are the safest for them. Uh, do you know, what are some of the common causes of dysphagia? Did I pronounce it right? That's correct. Okay. So dysphagia, um, the actual causes can be from a variety of different things, and a diet, variety of different disorders can cause mm -hmm. this. Um, so anybody um, who maybe has had a stroke, they can have weakness in their face. They can have weakness in their tongue. Sometimes they have difficulty with coordination. Um, sometimes it's just a motor planning. Their brain's telling them something, but the muscles aren't moving in the, in the same direction. And so that can cause um, difficulty with swallowing. Um, various forms of cancer. Sometimes people have head and neck cancer. Sometimes people are just going through cancer treatment, and they may not be as hungry, or their mouth is dry. Um, so they may have some trouble with uh, getting enough calories in. There are a lot of neurologic disorders, such as Parkinson's disease. Uh, muscular uh, mm. yeah, MS, yeah. Um, ALS, those are more progressive and there may be stages in which people are having more trouble with certain kinds mm -hmm. of food. Um, and then Alzheimer's patients, you know, we see with a lot of Alzheimer's patients that they have certain patterns and a lot of times it may not even be weakness, but it's just the progression of the disease and the cognitive decline. Mm -hmm. And so just like they forget to do certain things or forget you know, certain names. It's the same thing with food. They forget to eat. And so we see with a lot of those patients too, they may have trouble with getting food in or consuming food, um, or they may be over chewing or under chewing. Um, so that can happen. But there are a variety of different disorders and diseases and even normal aging. You know, when people get older, a lot of times you'll hear them say, nothing tastes good. Right. Or I'm not hungry. <laughs> you guys are nodding your head. We, we, you we're, know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as we were talking this morning, um, uh, uh, talk about the the pop and the flavor of the, uh, I mean the lemon was delicious. Oh, thank you. Um, but you thought you thought of everything <laughs> inside this snack and the pop of the flavor. Uh, was one of the things that you thought about. Yeah, a lot of um, older people or whether you're going through certain treatments, a lot of times they will have maybe either reduced saliva or reduced taste. Um, and so it was really important for me to have 
things that were very flavorful and tasted good. And especially when you're talking about the lemon and the strawberry, you know, the lemon, there is some research that shows that the lemon um, will help with production of saliva and help um, um, the bolus or the food to melt quickly. And so it was very important for me to have something that was flavorful. And we've actually heard from people too going through cancer treatments that have said to me, oh, it just knocked the medicine taste right out of my mouth. You know, so yeah. just you're hearing stories like that, that the taste is something that is good. And mm -hmm. that was what was important. I wanted them, you know, anybody who's going through this, I wanted them to have a food that anybody would want to eat. You know? And it's funny too, because like when we taste it, we're like, mm. <laughs> yeah, I, <It's> like, <laughs> I, 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 I it's that enjoyment, you know. Anybody watching us it. can see us. I'm looking at this box <laughs> wanting more. So. I know. And I think we have a new um, viewer in the last couple of minutes, Mary Freeman, who says, uh, where and what is the eat bar? So, again, maybe you should hold up the, uh, the bar real quick. I guess it's not an actual place. It's an actual bar that you eat. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's a coated meringue. It's just a meringue that's coated. Um, it's coated with either Greek yogurt or chocolate. We have dark chocolate, like I said, white chocolate, lemon, or strawberry. Um, but the calories, there's extra calories that are in the coating. Um, and there are, uh, there's a little bit of protein from the egg. Um, but it's basically a delicious treat um, that melts quickly. And so there's four bars in this three, box. Three bars, yep. Okay, there's three bars in this box. And 200 calories. And 200 calories. Yep. And Tia gave me this box. <laughs> So. This one is the one that you <laughs> would receive in the when, deck. You, when you order these from the website. Yep. So we our most popular is what we call the sampler. So each box contains three bars in it. And people like that because they can kind of have a few during the day. Some will eat a couple at once. Some will eat one in the morning, maybe one in the afternoon, and one before um, they go to bed. So it kind of gives you a little bit of variety. But the sampler has one um, box of each flavor. So you oh. get a total of 12 bars. Um, but that's usually where people start off to kind of sample and see what flavor they like the best. Sure. I'm having the same luck that I have at a casino. Huh. Okay, uh, okay. So now I have all three here, and they are the white, cho uh, the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm holding that up right. The lemon meringue, yeah. which we tasted this, uh, which I tasted this morning, which is great, mm -hmm. and the white chocolate. Yes, and, and we are, the... and I don't have a strawberry, which I apologize. But there, but that is our most popular. Also. That is also available. okay. Strawberry is available. Okay. Yep. She ate it on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> And I can see why. I, I'm going to have a hard time getting these home. But you know what? We we care primarily for the elderly and disabled, but one of the things that we talked about is the benefit that this might have to um, an individual with autism. Yeah. You know, because of the sensory issues. And I know um, I have some friends who have children that, that have, you know, can't have any food touching or anything like that and have some sensory issues associated with eating and don't want to eat because of that but this would be something that they would enjoy eating yeah you know we've really heard my background is in adults but we've heard from all ages of people especially you know with children who have autism or exactly the sensory issue um, or certain textures they don't like and this is they call this actually a transitional food and it kind of does exactly what you think it starts in a solid and it transitions to a paste um, and so there are a lot of people that kind of need something that is like that and like we said with the texture issues we are finding a lot of children that do like it yeah. um, because it's giving them that crunch and the family likes it because they're trying to give them more textures um, but because it melts quickly they still are, are okay with the flavor and the taste mm -hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm going to test this. Um, my, my grandson is on a, a higher spectrum of autism, okay. and you were talking about the sensory. Yep. Um, and he has that, so I'm very anxious to have yes. him try one of these. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, it's not just for seniors and those uh, with difficulty. Um, it's, it's really anybody that, you know, if they don't enjoy food anymore, they don't want to eat. I think this this would be beneficial for all, absolutely, absolutely. Well, and Except I, for me because it's got those two hundred calories. Well, and, mm, and I could no, eat the box of ones. And but. that's yeah, it's going to be hard for me to get this box home. <laughs> You know, since we've launched, I've been amazed from our customers, though, hearing the stories and what they're using it for. And I even heard the other day of a 16-year-old boy who had his wisdom teeth removed. And his mom, he had a, his post-op after surgery wasn't so great. He wasn't doing so well. And she literally was in tears because this was the first thing he had eaten in a couple of days that he could actually tolerate and liked. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's just that, that cross-section, like I said, of needing calories but melting quickly seems to fit the category for many people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it still has a crunch. That's mm -hmm. right. That's, that's right. that's what's so important, mm -hmm. I think, is that crunch. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we always miss in the food. You know, mm -hmm. even like a, a shake or something as delicious as that may be, mm -hmm. it gets tiresome after a while because there is no crunch. And I think that's what we're all seeking is that crunch. Well, we were talking this morning, um, 
uh, as you guys know, we, we lost my mother-in-law back in January, and she was on a, basically a liquid diet for uh, a year, year and a half. And she would have loved something like this because of just the pleasure of being able to, uh, you, you probably don't need a lot of teeth uh, right. for this, and just to give her the pleasure of being able to have a meal or a snack. Yeah. It had flavor. And mm -hmm. that's the thing, too, is like, um, you know, a lot of, you were saying about the wisdom teeth, but also like with your regular teeth, with the dentures, with the implants and all of that, your mouth is so sore that you don't want to put anything solid in there. And so this is so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got it. I got an email another uh, another day ago from a woman who had said that, you know, one of the things that people lose the most are their dentures and their teeth. Right. Mm -hmm. And that she's so happy with the E-bars because she knows that her mom can enjoy them. And, she, and, and, you know, but we always say, you know, you want to talk to your healthcare providers to find out what's the best diet for you, you know, whether you could tolerate this or not. Um, but there are people that we hear that are on a puree only diet that are actually able to tolerate that. Mm -hmm. So you think about, okay, if you're on a puree diet and you have to have foods that are blended most of the day, even if in that afternoon you could have one little snack though, that, that had crunch. that crunch, it mm -hmm. means a lot to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I loved hearing your story. Um, um, and I shared with Tia, I'm jealous because she's an entrepreneur and an inventor. And how did you, how did you come up with this idea? Yeah. So I always say I'm a clinician at heart. And my, my ultimate goal, I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's really just to help people. And during my years of practice, I just kept thinking there had to be a better way. And this wafer came up. And that's when I started kind of reaching out to some different companies that were in the space. And they wanted to hire me as a consultant. And um, my brother, who is an attorney, said, you know what? Why are we going to give your idea away? Why don't we make it ourselves? And that was a leap of faith for me and my family. We are not risk takers. Um, okay. But we kind of knew we had something. You know, we just, we thought this, this could really help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so we found a company in California called Madsen and they make food into um, reality. So it was like I took a piece of paper with all these requirements of what I wanted and they were pretty precise. You wow. know, I really thought about my patients. I really tried to when mm -hmm. I made the bars. Even the size. I wanted it to be a particular size mm -hmm. so people could pick them up who maybe had weakness in their hands or their arms. I wanted them to be able to feed themselves because dignity and joy is so important for mm -hmm. people. Um, and that independence to be able to feed themselves is, is huge. So it had to be something that they could feed themselves. Um, I wanted to, you know, the flavors, everything I really kind of thought about. And so um, Matson really took that and, and made it into a reality. And we launched in January online on our website, which is theeatbar.com. And it's just, it's been pretty amazing. And I always say, sometimes my husband will say to me, are you crying while I'm reading my customer emails? And I am. I'm yeah, literally absolutely. crying because I can't believe, you know, you have this idea, but you don't know if it's going to work. And then you actually hear from people that it's working for them. And it's just such and joy. And a difference. Yeah. yeah. And so tell us the eat bar. Tell us how you came up with that name. Yeah, so the word eat, um, you know, it's funny. I'll have displays at places, and people will just come over right away because they see the word eat. Um, and it's true. It's one of those words that just has magnetism to it. Um, but I really picked the word eat um, based on when I would go to nursing homes to see patients in memory care facilities, I would see stop signs. And I would realize that even though they had cognitive problems or difficulty understanding, they still knew some of these basic directives like the word eat. And so that's why it was very important for me to have it prominent on boxes. It's just that subliminal mes message to people, eat. For those people that you may have that aren't eating, you know, uh, maybe they're in hospice care, they're not getting the calories they want, or they're just somebody that's depressed. And, you know, this is just one more little oomph to try to get them to eat. Yeah, it's a, not just a description, it's a direction. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very cute. What I loved about your story also is, um, uh, you know, your husband, you know, asked, you know, are you crying? Um, and... Uh, a part of your story is how did you come up with this idea? And it was basically providing patient centered care to seniors, right? Yes. It's really about the individual person and providing joy in a situation that may not be so joyful. You know, food to people is such a large thing. It's how we socialize. You know, when we get up in the morning, how, what are we going to eat? What are we going to do? It's how we show love. If someone's yeah, sick, absolutely. you, you want to yeah. bring them food. Yeah. Um, and so, and I think it's very, for a lot of caregivers, it's very stressful when somebody mm -hmm. won't eat. And it's also stressful when someone says, okay, you got to blend this, you got to do that. I mean, it's just one more thing they had to do. Absolutely. And that's why I wanted it to be something also for those ever burdened caregivers. Mm -hmm. That was easy. They mm -hmm. could put it in their bag, bring them with it. It wasn't anything they had to blend. No utensils, no refrigeration, mm -hmm. something that was just an easy snack for them that they could give to someone. Mm -hmm. um, um, 
Can you share some more stories? And the one I would like to um, uh, address is how this uh, grandson or grandchild shared with his grandma. Yeah. So we've heard so many wonderful stories, but the one that you're talking about is we've recently heard about um, children that are actually taking the bars to their grandparents. And because the bars taste so good, they sat down at a table together and they all ate them. And you just hear that and you think that's exactly the purpose of what we did. You know, right, this to bar- share a meal, you exactly. know, or a snack or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, but just the sharing. Yep. It's, and it's about inclusion. Right. Everybody's included. Everyone's included at the table and we're all going to eat. And we find too with seniors, a lot of times children are the best yeah. of resources to get them to eat. You know, they see them, they're excited. It becomes kind of a game. Mm-hmm. You know, it, they pretend they're having tea, whatever it may be. That may be a good way to boost them to eat too is to have children. Um, another story I have is a woman who had had a stroke. This is one of the first videos I ever received. And this beautiful woman, she, you know, just uh, uh, older woman, she was in her 70s, had a stroke. That morning, her family had brought her cookies. Well, she couldn't eat the cookies. They were too hard. Mm. And she was defeated. That afternoon, her daughter brought the Eat Bar. And she picked the chocolate one first, and she put it in her mouth, and they videotaped it. And you should have just seen her face. You know, she had weakness on the side of her face, but she was able to chew it. She was able to swallow it down, and it was just such joy. And her um, family sent that video to me. And that was the first time that I showed to some people that weren't in the medical facility, you know, the people that were business people. Mm -hmm. And that's when they first got what we were trying to do. You know, this Mm -hmm. is more than just a bar. Mm -hmm. You know, this is about bringing joy to people that are in situations that sometimes are difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And so when I found out about the bar, I ordered several boxes for my clients. And so I have one client that's at end stages of – um, Alzheimer's on stages of dementia. And so we feed her every day. Our caregiver feeds her like some, you know, something that looks like it's gray, you know, it's like oatmeal and um, chicken or something mm-hmm. mashed together. It's icky. And, and so she's kind of resistant to eating that because I feed too. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, um, so I brought the box of eat bars there and the caregiver gave um, her a piece of the eat bar and she loved it you know she was able to taste it and she and her eyes lit up about the flavor and by the and so she is not a person that feeds herself she is someone that we always feed and so with the eat bar she began feeding herself wow. and ate the whole bar <laughs> whole, ate the whole box through the course of the day feeding herself And so, again, the independence, the dignity that it brings to an individual that's suffering from that, you know, from the lack of that, is so beneficial to so many people. So thank you so much for inventing it. Well, thank you. I mean, it's... It's a treat. It's a treat to hear those stories, and it's a treat for those people. And, you know, I hope that this is just the beginning. We have other, op- you know, down the road, we want to make a diabetic form. We, you know, there's all these other things that right. we can do. Um, maybe make one that's uh, savory. You know, there's all these mm-hmm. different options. But this really, um, it seems to be resonating, and we're just so proud. I think mm-hmm. butter sage would be a really good Ooh, flavor. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I'm looking at this. Uh, have you thought of a protein bar? And that's what we want to add more. Exactly. Um, you know, it's very difficult for things to melt quickly. You think of most protein bars. My patients can't eat those. Right. Uh-huh. Um, and so the combination of melting quickly and protein is difficult. We do have three grams in there. But, yes, that is the trying to pack as much protein mm-hmm. as we can, but still making it taste good. You know, it had to taste good, and it had to melt quickly. Well, based on Jeanette's uh, testimony and some of the testimony of your um, uh, the people already using the product, you have to be so happy and proud that you're helping people bring joy into their lives, stay independent, and um, and uh, just uh, enjoy a quality of life. Isn't that really what it's about in a lot of ways is quality of life, you know? And I think a lot of people are just focused on that too, is what can I bring to, to make each day, um, you know, the quality of that day even better. And if I'm even helping that even a little bit, you know, it's an amazing feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. an amazing feeling. So, uh, do you, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm going to say that most of our listeners are going to want to know how do they get these bars. Yes. So and I know they've got it up on the website, but if you yep. can share with our audience. Perfect. Yeah, so right now we sell directly from our website at theeatbar.com, and we sell to the United States and Canada and the U.K. right now. Um, you can go on there, you can order right away, and we'll send that out to you. And I'm um, going to say that the customer service is outstanding. <laughs> we re- Thank you so much. We really try. You know, the, I, It's very important to us because we know that a lot of people are in delicate situations, and so it's important for us to try to give the best customer service 
service that we can. Um, but if you go to our Facebook page or Instagram at the Eat Bar, you know, we have articles that just talk about maybe, um, I write a lot of articles too, just about maybe help with giving pills or strategies for feeding, you know, different topics like that. We also yeah, have- that's something that we didn't even get to talk about is the taking of pills. Yeah. You know, and, and how- disgusting they are when <laughs> crunched up or something. This is how it would really be a benefit. <laughs> well, and, and just afterwards, maybe even too, if the taste is bad, getting something that tasted good. But yes, we have articles on there. Um, we also have testimonials and then videos of people actually enjoying the bar. So um, if you want to find out more about us, please go to our website um, and, and take a look. Again, the website is the eat bar. Yep. Dot gotcha. com. Dot com. And so thanks so much for being our guest today. Thank you. This was wonderful. And we wish you so much success, and we're looking forward to all those new flavors you're bringing up. <laughs> it was a real pleasure. Thank you for coming up with this idea, and thank you for helping our senior and disabled communities with something that brings such joy to them. Thank you. So thank you these so bars are not going to get home. <laughs> <laughs> so, so remember, everybody, the Eat Bar. So um, thank you for listening today. Being a caregiver is more than a job. A caregiver is a companion, a friend, a confidant. Are you interested in becoming a part of a hardworking caregiving team? Then apply today at writeathome.net. We're looking for the best CNAs, HHAs, homemakers, and caregivers to join our team all throughout not only the Chicago area, but um, throughout the U.S. So um, only work. Uh, only working for the best will do work for a company that cares about you. And so remember right care from right at home means that your loved one is cared for by the right people doing the right things the right way for the right reason. And don't touch that dial. Stay tuned for the radio shopping show right here on WRMM AM 1410 and FM 96, seven. Absolutely. Jim. See you next week at 9.30 on Silver Solutions Radio.